We talked first about a year ago when you had some plans to buy a property on the Costa Brava in Spain. Um, yes, we, we had come to uh, Catechase on the Costa Brava to look at properties and we had identified a few properties and contacted some real estate agents there. But we went two days into that process of meeting with a real estate agent and looking at houses that we realized how different the process was from what we were used to in the United States. Um, and it was at that point that I had read an article in the New York Times that had mentioned uh, Raf and his team at Inspire. And we called them while we were already over here in Spain and said, help. Um, and how can you help? Because you're a lawyer in the US, you're an attorney, so you know uh, a lot about how purchases work, how property transactions work in the US? I, I do, and, and that's what I do for a living, uh, is property transactions. But in Spain, the aspects of it are different, starting at first with that they do not have buyer's agents at the real estate agencies. The real estate agencies only represent the sellers. So you don't have someone, um, unless you uh, obtain representation, not of a real estate agent, but of someone to represent you in the transactions, um, that is looking out for your interest, that making sure everything's done right, and particularly when all the documents in many steps of the process are different than in the United States. And so, Raf and his team did was not just uh, help us analyze the properties, you know, and negotiate the the sale of the property we we eventually bought, but also uh, to just walk us through each step of the process, uh, you know, from going under a, the initial contract uh, to the more formal contracts and all the way up to the closing. Because you, you liked uh, new developments, you, uh, you had different options in mind at some point. You had a property that was ready to move in, yes. uh, finished, and another one which, which was literally um, uh, under construction. Right, and so, yeah, if, if we had gone with, <clears throat> with the one under construction, we, it would probably would have needed a whole lot more help because that's just more involved. But we got one that was just done. We had also looked at a number of properties uh, that were older, some that needed some work, um, and uh, some that probably needed less work, but either way, they were not new developments, um, but we didn't go that way. And, and Raf's team helped us look at the properties and gave us their opinion, it's of course our decision which property we we're gonna buy, but their opinion as to which uh, was the better property, which was the more desirable property, and which was the better deal at the, the, the money they were asking for. If you look back at the process of, of, of buying a property here, and you compare that to the US, what, what key differences do you see? Well, I just think in the US you have, you know, a lot of people might know their real estate agent already, their buyer's agent, or be recommended to them. So you have some comfort in the process that someone is looking out for your interest. And here in Spain, particularly as an, as an American, and unfamiliar with how things work, not particularly conversant in the language, um, it's, that's the most important thing is to know that you have someone on your side who's looking out for you, who really has your interests in mind. Right. Okay. If you look back, you, you're an owner now of, of a new house with a nice sea view on the, on the Costa Rama. Yeah. If you look back at the process and you look back at, there's of course a cost for such a service. Um, is it worth it? Is the value worth the fees? Without question. Uh, we were, Inspire Team was able to negotiate a significant reduction from what the developer of our house was looking for. So the amount we got off more than compensated, more than made up for what uh, the fees that we paid to Inspire. But I would say, even if they had not been able to get one euro off the purchase price, the amount of comfort and, and serenity <laughs> uh, and, and, and confidence that their advice brought us throughout the process, and it's been going on for, for months now, um, and a lot of different things that they walked us through, and a lot of other things related to the property that they helped us with. Um, it was uh, absolutely a great decision, and, and, we're thrilled, and we're thrilled to go see our house. Uh, thank you. Why Costa Brava? Why Spain? Uh, that's a tough question. We just, on every trip here, had an absolutely wonderful time. The people, the food, the weather, um, it's also, we looked at France as well, um, and just didn't find it uh, to our liking. It's a, it's a bit quirky, um, the Costa Brava, compared to some other places. Um, and we just fell in love and uh, we're happy to be here. I wish you lots of nice, pleasant moments at your new place. Great. And enjoy the, the bubbles. Great, thank you.